Hey guys and welcome to my highly requested AFK action bars guide. Now before we get into the AFK bars, if you don't know how to get multiple bars active on your screen on RuneScape, you go to the wheel on your action bar, right click it, action bar settings, and then you can add multiple action bars to your screen. You're welcome. Now to AFK you want revolution combat mode to be on and you want the revolution setting to be set to thresholds, ultimates and basic abilities to be all activated by revolution. You do this by going to the free blue balls as seen in the video and then activating revolution combat mode and then ticking the boxes off for thresholds and ultimates. Now in terms of useful abilities there's quite a few for AFKing to improve your action bar and improve your AFKing experience. The Corruption, Blast and Shot are the first two. You can buy these from the Grand Exchange if you buy the Mascab Ability Codex and choose either. They both require 70 in the required skills, so for Corruption Blast, which is the magic one, you require 70 magic, and for the ranged one, which is Shot, you require 70 ranged. The reason this is so good is it because it's a area bleed effect or corruption effect that adds on to other monsters and basically does a huge amount of damage in large groups of monsters. So it's very useful for AFKing at the Abyss or Abyssal Demons. The next two are Sunshine and Death Swiftness. You can unlock these both by completing the Wolves Wakes quest. The reason they're so good is because they increase your damage with either magic or ranged by 50% for 30 seconds if you stand in the area which spawns when you use this ability. So all in all very useful for all AFKing situations or even bossing situations. Keep in mind that these abilities do not increase the damage done by bleeds like Corruption, Blast and Shot. Debilitate and Sacrifice are both unlockable by killing Godward's Dungeon 1 bosses like Krill, Kriara and Bandos. I have guides on these on my channel if you're interested in them and I will link them in the description. Now Debilitate is an ability that you can use and then do 100% weapon damage and then for 7.8 seconds, all damage from your opponent is decreased by 50%. Sacrifice heals you for 25% of the damage you do, and 100% if you kill the monster you're using it on with the last hit with this ability. All in all, uh, the Debilitate is very useful for AFKing bossing, as you'll see in my action bars in just a minute, and Sacrifice is useful for every situation as you get some free HP and do some damage at the same time. And finally, Ice Asylum, which is a very useful ability you can easily unlock by completing the pretty short quest called the Dig Site. Now this ability is pretty much a healing ability, and it heals you depending on how close you stand to the Ice Asylum block or thingy tile uh, as you spawn it with using the ability. It is a ultimate ability, sadly, which does require 100% adrenaline to activate, but it's very worth using. It's also pretty useful for doing non-AFK stuff like Dungeoneering as it can heal other people as well. So all in all, very useful ability for AFKing. I personally don't use it too much, but you can use it if you're struggling to survive AFK. Kicking off with the AFK bars for ranged. The first bar is for the Abyss and low level creature farming. The second is for Chinning, which is also the Abyss most of the time. I know you can mechanize Chin uh, Abyssal Demons, but we're not focusing on that right now. And the third one is the AFK boss bar for Kriara, I personally use. Now for the first bar, it's pretty basic. Um, if you're using a bow, this is all good and it's good for farming. So bombardment for area of effect, snapshot, corruption shot, sacrifice to heal, ricochet to get some people or mobs, sorry, uh, aggro to you. And you don't really, it doesn't really matter what other abilities you choose. I put snipe at the end because it's so slow. So it's not worth using for AFKing at all, and it does make you stand still for a second after casting it or using it, which is bad. Um, the chinning bar, which is pretty basic, uh, with chins all your attacks are AoE, so snapshot uh, is pretty much the best threshold to use. Uh, bombardment is any uh, AoE anyways, but you can put it on there anyway. Corruption shot, obviously. Sacrifice, pretty useful for the abyss, uh, especially with chins. And then we have fragmentation shot, which pretty much acts like Corruption Shot, kind of, uh, if you're using Chins because it hits multiple enemies and it does bleed pretty good, and therefore it's very useful at the Abyss, Needle Strike, and uh, some stuns. Other than that, the, the bar doesn't really matter, but that's a general uh, bar for Chinning. Now the AFK boss bar is a bar I use at Armador all the time, also known as Kriara, 
which has diff swiftness on it, snapshot debilitate to reduce some damage and therefore make it more AFK if you have low tier armor, and then rapid fire for the extra DPS, corruption shot, and uh, all in all, all of, I mean, sorry, uh, other than that, the bar doesn't really matter. You can use any basic ability, but yeah, this is a general AFK bar for Kree that I use and it works, so that's why I put it here. As for magic AFK bars, the first bar is for the abyss and low level creatures once again. The second one is for mid level bosses to be AFK'd like Krill, also known as Samurak. And the third bar is for mid to high level creature farming like abyssal demons. So, uh, usually I put Sonic Wave before Rack. I'm just putting that out there, so that's why you see Sonic Wave before Rack on pretty much every bar. Uh, ignore that. So, the first bar, the abyss bar. Um, the first ability is obviously Sunshine, and if you do not have Sunshine unlocked, you can always use Metamorphosis, or however you pronounce that, uh, which is also a good option, and you have it unlocked standard, if you have the magic level, of course. The second ability being Tsunami, which is a great AoE damaging ability, the third being Corruption Shot. I have seen people doing the rack ability before the Corruption Shot, there's no point in doing that, just put Corruption Shot on the first spot, as it will be activated the most. Dragon Fire. Um, I put Dragonfire first because, like the Abyss, you don't really need Chain because they all aggro onto you in a big cluster. Uh, that's why I put Dragonfire first, Sacrifice steals them back, then Sonic Wave, Chain, Combust, and all the other abilities do not matter. The mid-level bar. Now, you have Sunshine, for obviously for the damage boost, then you have Asphyxiate, and then you have Debilitate. And that's because Kirill sometimes uses a special ability, especially if you're using a Prayer, and then you will get hit pretty hard. If you're not using prayer at a mid-level boss like Krill, I mean specifically Krill, uh, then it still helps as it just decreases damage and therefore it will be easier to AFK. Then Wild Magic, of course, pretty good, fast, threshold, Corruption Shot, Dragon Fire, Sonic Wave, uh, Sacrifice, and the other abilities don't really matter in what order you put them as they won't be activated too much. Now the mid to high level creature farming one uh, like is a good example for Abyssal Demons. Um, as you see, I have Sunshine, Tsunami, and then Wild Magic. Not Asphyxiate, because you're AFKing, and if you use affix Asphyxiate, I mean, sorry, this is live by the way, that's why it's so weird. Um, if you use Asphyxiate, what happens is, you use the ability, and then you cancel out for just like a second. Just like Snipe with Ranged. And that really, just, it, it sucks, okay? Uh, don't do it. Don't use Asphyxiate to AFK with. Um, Corruption Shot, or Blast, in this one and chain to aggro more creatures to you. In this situation, I would choose chain over dragon fire first because you want to aggro the abyssal demons that are further away or spiritual mages if you're AFKing, Zamorak, minions, or anything like that. Then dragon fire, sacrifice, sonic wave, combust, and ignore the other abilities. Now, as you see, I put prayers on my bar. Um, I just do that because I like to and it's useful and you can easily activate them. You can, of course, add them to your secondary action bar instead. And we arrive at the melee AFK bars. The first one being for the Abyss and low level creature farming using a two handed weapon like a lance, scythe, or halberd. The second one being the same, but then for mid to high level creature farming. The third one for AFK bossing using a scythe, halberd, or dragon rider lance. And the fourth one being an AFK boss bar using dual wield weapons like Drygores. So the first bar Meteorite Strike, Hurricane, Quake, Cleave which are the four main melee AoE abilities. And then sacrifice to heal some health back. Smash, and then sever and stuff like that. The, the other abilities don't really matter and won't make your experience power differ much, but the first four do. And the fifth one is for healing, of course. Now the second bar is pretty much the same, except for the fact that Quake is in front of Hurricane. That's because Quake closes the defense of your opponent when you use it. So uh, Abyssal Demons, it will help you hit harder, and maybe at any other high level creature, it will make it so that you hit the, maybe it's even, maybe it's a boss, who knows. It hits easier and you have a higher accuracy. The third one is the AFK boss bar with the two hand weapon, like a Cypher Halberd. And the first ability is Meteorite Strike as an ultimate. And an Assault, which is a very high damaging ability. And then you see Hurricane and Quake, but then this time Hurricane is in front of it. It really depends on what you want. If you have 100% accuracy at a boss, you can use Hurricane first as it is better, and then Quake second. But if it's uh, if you don't have the accuracy, put Quake in front of that. Then Cleave, of course, 
sacrifice and then the smash and sever ability which are very nice and the slash and stuff like that uh, it doesn't really matter for the other abilities as it won't differ your experience or kills per hour much so the last bar which is the afk bar using dual wield weapons uh, assault destroy slaughter decimate sacrifice sorry i had to think there havoc sever slash dismember etc uh, the main abilities uh, or thresholds that you're going to be using at, are at the front you can switch them up if you like but i think these are the best and slaughter doesn't work as well during afk because obviously if you walk the boss you're killing with slaughter it's going to do a lot more damage uh, now havoc and decimate are very good basic abilities and very powerful as well i put sacrifice in between them for that extra bit of healing and uh, other than that uh, it's pretty much straightforward now i don't want to make this guide any longer than it already is so i hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful I don't know if this is the perfect 100% best AFK bar and I might receive some criticism for that but I do think they're pretty damn good as I've used them myself for hundreds of hours of fun or <laughs> AFK. So subscribe for more guides and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.